Good evening, Democrats. Hello, California. Hello, Maryland. Hello, America. Welcome to the convention that will nominate Barack Obama and Joe Biden to be the next president and vice president of the United States. This week is the culmination of an historic race that has brought millions of voters to the polls, many voting for the first time. All Democrats salute Senator Hillary Clinton for her excellent campaign. Our party and our country has been strengthened by her candidacy. We meet today at a defining moment in our history, America stands at a crossroads with an historic choice between two paths for our country. One is a path of renewing opportunity and promoting innovation here at home and of greater security and respect throughout the world. It is that path that renews our democracy by bringing us together as one nation under God. But there is another path. It leads to the same broken promises and failed policies that have diminished the American dream and weakened the security of our nation. We call this convention to order tonight to put America on the path begun by our founders, a path that renews America's promise for a new century. We call this convention to order to nominate a new leader for our time, Barack Obama, as the next President of the United States. Two years ago, the American people set our nation in a new direction by electing new Democratic majority in Congress committed to real change. I'm very proud of the Democrats in Congress. Working with Majority Leader Harry Reid in the Senate, here are some of our accomplishments. After years of inaction by Republicans, in our very first act, we passed the 9-11 Commission recommendations to protect the American people. That was just the beginning. We helped rebuild the Gulf Coast for the survivors of Hurricane Katrina and Rita. We put rebates, recovery rebates, into the hands of more than 130 million families. We passed legislation to keep hardworking American families in their homes and to keep toxic toys out of the hands of our children. We increased the minimum wage for the first time in 10 years. We improved fuel efficiency for the first time in 32 years. We passed the largest college aid expansion since the GI Bill passed 64 years ago. And we passed the largest veterans' health care increase in funding in the 77-year history of the Veterans Administration. And we enacted a new GI Bill to help our, thank our veterans from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan by sending them to college. Every chance we get, we must honor our veterans and our men and women in uniform for their courage, their patriotism, and the sacrifices they and their families are making for our country. Because of them, America is the land of the free and the home of the brave. The, 
The American people gave Democrats their confidence, and we have started to reclaim the American dream for all Americans. But our journey to take our nation in a new direction cannot be complete without new leadership in the White House. Democrats know we can't afford any more of the same failed Republican policies. Democrats stand for the change America needs. We stand for Barack Obama for President of the United States. Republicans say Barack Obama Republicans say that John McCain has experience. We say John McCain has the experience of being wrong. On the failed Bush policies that have weakened our economy and taken us from the Clinton surpluses to reckless Bush deficits and on raising the minimum wage for millions of American workers, Barack Obama is right and John McCain is wrong. On health care for 10 million American children and on protecting Medicare, a bill so critical that Senator Ted Kennedy left his own medical treatment to cast the deciding vote Barack Obama is right, and John McCain is wrong. On a future of American independence, investments in renewable and clean energy, and millions of good-paying, clean jobs here in America, Barack Obama is right, and John McCain is wrong. And on the most important foreign policy decision of our time, the war in Iraq, a catastrophic mistake that has caused thousands of lives and, trillion, and over a trillion dollars, as well as weakened our standing in the world and weakened our capability to protect the American people, Barack Obama is right and John McCain is wrong. Very, very wrong. America needs a president who knows that health care is a right, 